click the link below and get your tickets to the Game Kings 2, the definition of a man documentary screening that's going to be held in Miami on October 26th, 2024. You'll be the first to watch the documentary, and then after the documentary, you'll be able to participate in a question and answer session with the Game Kings live. Space is limited, so click the link below and get your tickets now. <laughs> but anyway, so in other news, uh, Judge Mathis says he's trying to save his marriage. Crazy. Judge Mathis, I, and I thought he had his shit together, you know? That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is um, the shaderoom.com. It says, uh, the headline reads, Baby, please. Uh, Judge Mathis, Mathis wants to save his 39 year marriage following divorce announcement. That's crazy. 39 years, and she going to leave now? Damn. Yeah, that's what damn, I'm saying. This is crazy. 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 Um, it says, Gr Judge Greg Mathis isn't ready to let 39 years of marriage go just yet. The TV star told the press he's trying to get his wife, Linda Reese, back after she filed for divorce early this month. Man, let me tell you something, man. If a bitch filed for divorce, I am so done. Like, I'm, I'm hey, that's what you want. Let's do it. Because I, I, to beg a bitch to stay. That's what I'm <laughs> saying. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> anyway, so it says, uh. Additionally, Judge Mathis opened up about their living dynamic since August 22 filing. As previously reported, Linda cited their separation date as of July 17th. She didn't get into specifics behind the divorce, but cited irreconcilable differences. Judge Mathis says he's hoping to win his wife back. I would never. <laughs> In a conversation with TMZ on Friday, August 30th at LAX, uh, Judge Mathis shared shared where his head is at following the divorce paperwork after telling the reporter recording him that he was doing good he quickly changed his answer saying it's some of the worst days of his life quote not holding up very well i will say that other men maybe i will say that other men maybe i'll be an example for other men cautionary tale don't neglect your wife additionally he shared that in the last few decades, he has put his wife in third place behind work, serving the community, and even hanging with friends. Quote, never be busy, never have too much fun beyond your wife, Judge Mathis said. He swerved the question about whether the divorce was long, -term com long time coming. Instead, again, he explained that he prioritized his work in the past and is still doing so, hence his travel through LAX. However, he insists that they're in a good place and able to maintain friendship during this time. Quote, uh... We're, we're still in the same house and we're maintaining a friendship and I'm trying to win my wife back. He said, I have to show her that though, hopefully I can show her while, uh, while we're there together and hopefully she doesn't complete the process, but I'm changing, I'm changing in hopes that she will. Nah, man. Um, it's TV star. <laughs> It says the uh, TV stars says cheating is not the reason for his divorce. Mathis told Mathis also denied rumors about him being unfaithful in the marriage or other wild allegations, including involvement with a minor. What? Jesus. They always trying to do that shit to black men. Exactly. Uh, excuse me. He doubled down that infidelity was not the reason for his divorce, but he said he would understand why she suspect that due to his hectic work schedule. All right, there's a video here. Let me see if I can play it. Would you say you two are in a good place right now or able to maintain a friendship? Or oh, yeah. We're, we're still in the same house and we're maintaining a friendship. And I'm trying to get my wife back. Try, I have to show her that, though. Mm -hmm. um, hopefully I can show her while we're there together before and hopefully she doesn't complete the process. But um, I'm changing in hopes that she will. I'm going to get my wife back. How about that? I just wanted to eliminate all the rumors, too, that it's something about a baby or even me uh, molesting a child. It's none of that. I've just told Damn. Imagine. Imagine you got a fucking tell you what it is. There were also, you know, kind of some rumors of any infidelity. Did you want to clear that up at all? You say it's solely neglect. Well, neglect um, can create suspicion. 
certainly. And if you're gone as much as I am, you have every right to suspect. You know, you go to work, you go serving the community around the country, then you go with your guys to sporting events around the country, you go to other events with, except without your wife hanging with you and enjoying herself with you. And so, yeah, she would have a right to suspect infidelity. But there's none of that going on. That's not the purpose. That's not the reason for this. Yeah, yeah, All right, guys. <laughs> and, and, and to uh, and to um, to keep it on to keep it on game. Okay, it says more details on Linda Re's divorce filing. It says while Linda kept the reason for filing divorce general she was specific about other matters tmz first reported that reese is seeking spousal support while requesting the court ban judge mathis from receiving any oh she probably got money too it is it's also unclear whether either party signed a prenup before getting married aside from his record-breaking 24 seasons as a tv judge fans also got to know mathis through his family-based reality tv show ultimately mathis family matters lasted one season from june 2022 to August 2022, um, the estranged couple shares four children, Amir, Jade, Greg, and Camera, who are each in their 30s. Neither of them has offered thoughts on their parents' divorce to the media outlet. Okay, so I'll say this, man. This is, okay, this is why we talk about consistency, guys. Mm -hmm. Like, 39 years of marriage is a long fucking time. Right. And if you, if you, if you, you, you got money, and you doing all of these things, you going to all these events and you doing all of these things and you don't you don't like if you don't set certain consistencies to have your wife around in some type of capacity, mm -hmm. this is what's going to happen. Like you can't completely just leave your wife at home. Right. You, you can't do that, bro. Like that's not a good thing. Like if you if you fuck with your wife for real. You understand? It's, it's kind of like this. It's kind of like this. Imagine, imagine you go to your wife for pussy, to, mm. for sex, and then she, 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 all the time she's telling you her head hurts. She don't, she can, she don't, she's not in the mood and da 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 da. Right? Remember, a man want, a man requires sex, and a woman requires time. Right. You understand? So you doing all the shit you do as a judge, as a community. Uh, community leader and all this other shit and you're not bringing your wife along for none of it mm -hmm. that's crazy bro like and his wife ain't a bad looking chick you know what i'm saying for for her age or whatever she looks she yeah she damn right. fine for her age and shit so because if 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 she's uh if they've been married 39 years that means they probably got married around eight around eight twenty. so that means both of them is at least 60 something she looked good right so in my, my, in, the, the thing is this though is that so the problem is like you said consistency he should have had a schedule yeah that's what i'm saying that said oh yeah. these these are our days and, and and let's say if something comes up or whatever and it's like all right cool with this week we could switch this day for that day but either way there should have been a schedule where there was consistent time that he had with his wife now this is what i'll say though because i don't we don't know all the details Exactly. There could have been a situation where that was the case and he was um, doing those things. And then she just felt like it wasn't enough. It wasn't enough because women will do that shit, too. Like you'll give women you will give a chick six days and she'll be like, it's not enough because I don't get the seventh. You exactly. What I'm so. <laughs> exactly. So, yeah, you're right. You're right. We don't know the details. And that could that could have been a part of it. Right. But by the way, he was talking, though. Mm hmm. But like he was like, oh well, I'm going to this place, I'm going to that place, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, right. and, and then when you're gone as long as I am, like the way he spoke about it, mm -hmm. it didn't sound as if he he had any right any structure of of any structure with him and her right. It, it, it sounded like he was just running around doing his thing, and I mean, look, there's nothing wrong with that. But if you took the time to create a situation where you have a woman in your life, mm -hmm. and let's just say you started off. You know, they've been married 39 years. So in the first 10 years, you started off, y'all went places, y'all met up for this or that. Even though you was busy doing this, you flew her out to come stay with you right. so y'all could have some romantic evenings in, you know, in the midst of you working on your project. That's what you're supposed to maintain. Right. Mm -hmm. You Because, again, a bit a woman is not going to want less time, <coughs> less of your time. She's always going to want at least the same or more. Mm -hmm. Right. So what? Whatever you started now, if if you started off and she always knew that she was look stay at home, I'll send a check. Mm. You could fuck 
pool boy and I don't give a fuck. Just stay your ass at home and just be my wife and that's it. Then right. so be it. Mm-hmm. If that's what y'all got going on, then so be it. But it's it just based on what he said, it sounds like in you know the first 10 20 years it was like oh yeah you know that's my wife i love her come with me here let's go here let's do this let's do that and then all of a sudden it's like oh well you know i'm gonna leave my wife at home it for just like fell off right 95 percent of everything mm-hmm. i'm gonna leave her at home type shit and just run around with my boys run around taking care of politics run around taking care of tv shit and that's it right like, nah bro. nah bro you gotta make time for your bitch mm-hmm you got to make <laughs> like real talk. You got to make time for your bitch, bro. You got to, bro. If you don't, she going this is the type of shit that's going to happen if you don't. And and it's mm-hmm. and it's about that's why we talk about consistencies because you got to understand. And this is why we tell you also about making a woman earn shit. Mhm. Because she has to earn that consistency. Right. She has to earn the expectation that he's going to make time for me. Right. Exactly. It's, this is difference between that's the difference between a new bitch and your and your bottom bitch or your main. Mm-hmm. You understand? The main has been there all for the long haul. She's been putting skin in the game. She's been investing, so she's supposed to get a couple of days out the week or at least a month, right? That are special between you and her mm-hmm. because that is a consistency that has been agreed upon since the beginning of the relationship. Now, if you start to fall off of that, mm-hmm. you fucking up, bro. Exactly. You understand if 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 it, if it started out where at least once a week it's like fuck that I got to get my woman a plane ticket to come out here and meet me while I'm filming mm-hmm. and then we can meet after I'm done filming and we go out to dinner and then we get back to the hotel and we could smash and keep the keep the romantic shit going mm-hmm. that's what you got to do right you don't you don't fucking you don't you don't cuz you bro guys you got to understand your woman is your woman is your woman like mm-hmm. she's she's a part of your life for a reason right if you don't nurture that relationship Something's gonna go wrong. Mm-hmm. You understand? That's what it's really about. So again, this is why this is why you have to have a program. This is why you have to know consistency, and you have to have a make. A, you have to make a woman earn it. But once she earns it, you gotta respect the fact that she earned it, bro. Right. And this is why it's important for you to be on point where you're doing everything that you're supposed to do and have things set up how they're supposed to be set up. Because then once that, because this is the thing. Like I was doing a coaching call the other day and, and I had to explain this uh, to this guy. And I was saying that, you know, because he was having these issues with like, you know, retaining chicks and, and getting like second dates and all this other stuff. Right. And so right. What, what was happening is, is that he was doing certain things that he shouldn't have done, which was causing certain responses and reactions from the women. Right. So what right. I told him was, I said, bro, you have to make sure everything on your end is on point so that if something is fucking up, then you know it's coming from her end. Do you understand what I'm saying? So then now, so now you have more clarity. You see what I'm saying? So just like if I was doing a video, a music video shoot and I hired some models to come through for the video shoot and I say, hey, I need you here at eight o'clock in the morning and I got the camera set up, I got the light set up, everything is set up and eight o'clock comes and then they're late. They don't get there till 845. They fucked up because at eight o'clock I had every I did everything I needed to do. Everything was on point. Now, in the flip side, if I'm doing a music video, I said, get there at eight o'clock. They get there at eight o'clock and the camera ain't ready. The lights is fucked up. And then they're looking at me like, what the fuck? And then they leave. That's my fault because I wasn't on point. You see what I'm saying? So so what happens is this with the Judge Mathis thing is that if he wasn't on point, right? then that causes his woman to react a certain way, which would make her basically want to leave and all this other stuff. Now, if he is, if he is on point, right. And he was doing all the things he needed to do. And then for whatever reason, she's like, Oh, I just feel like, and I just wanted more and blah, 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 blah. Then that's on her. Cause she's fucking up right now. Once you realize she's fucking up, then there will be no reason, right. To be even thinking about trying to get your woman back. You right. see what I'm saying? So this is this is why we, we don't really advocate to beg your chick back or try to win her back and all that other nonsense because everything should have been on point. So if everything's right. on point, there's no there's no getting you back because that would mean that she was doing something to fuck the situation up, not on your end. But if it's on your yeah. end, then you ought to understand shit fucked up because it fucked up on your end. <laughs> you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? It's crazy. Real talk. It's crazy. Real talk. Man. And 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 look, this look, this is the type of impeccable 
uh like demeanor that 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 needs to that needs to be that needs to be implemented when you when you were a man out here bro mm mm-hmm. mhm like you gotta be impeccable. You gotta be damn near untouchable. Yes, a lot of niggas be like, "Yo, Miles, so what you trying to say? You could, you gotta be perfect out here? You damn right, motherfucker. Yeah, <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> yeah, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, goddamn near, be, nearly be perfect. Yes, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. because you, you don't, bro. I'm telling you. You see, you gotta understand a lot. This is something that a lot of niggas don't understand about women. Did you know? Do you know how much a woman looks up to a man? Exactly. A lot of y'all niggas get lost in this, you know, boss bitch. I could get it myself. Independent, strong woman, blah, blah. That shit is a fucking it's a goddamn smoke screen. Mm-hmm. Women are looking up to us. You yo, you think I'll be playing when I say a man is the closest thing to God? Mm-hmm. Women, whether they know it, wh- whether they know it or not, whether they want to admit it or not, whether their subconscious allows them to see it or not, they look up to us. Exactly. We are their God. Mm-hmm. Y'all niggas don't understand this shit, and this is the shit we be trying to drill into y'all fucking brains since we started this shit. Right. Men. Are the is the closest fucking thing to God in this reality, and women look up to us. They worship us. They pray to us, mm-hmm. whether they know it or not. I don't. I'm not. I'm not asking this. I'm not asking this. This is not some type of. Uh, this is not something that I think or believe. This is something that I know. Mm-hmm. Men, we create the fucking structure. We create the security. We create the resources that they partake in so they can fucking ha- have our children and continue society. We create all that shit. Right. So who the fuck you think they looking up to, my nigga? Mm-hmm. They're looking up to us. That's why we have to fucking be perfect. That's why we have to be consistent. That's why we got to be on point all the fucking time. That's why we got to have tight game and we got to know what to say and what to do and everything. Mm -hmm. They're counting on us. Mm -hmm. This is how I know my value is real. This is how this is why when a bitch act like she want to reject a nigga, it don't mean nothing to me because I already know what she don't what she don't even think she know. Mm hmm. Exactly. What the fuck you think? I, I made the shirt. I'm God to these hoes. You thought it was just a catchphrase? Mm-hmm. Bro, women look up to us. So that's why they behave so fucking disrespectfully when we fuck up. Mm. When men make mistakes, women are let down heavily. Mm. That's why they that's why they respond so fucking belligerent and disrespectful when we make mistakes. Because we weren't supposed to make mistakes in the first place. They were counting on us. Right. Think about how you felt the first time you realized that there was no fucking Santa Claus. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's, a woman, that's how a woman feels when we lie to her. Right. I'm telling yo. So when you look at this story, this this story with Judge Mathis, it it I, again, like we said, we don't know all the details of their marriage, but bottom line is this: uh, we could always trace it back to it being his fault. Mm. Real shit. Because if I realize that I'm the closest thing to God, then I gotta know. I gotta know that the responsibility lies with me. No matter what's going on in the mind of that female, she's a fucking female, bro. Mm. She's a female. She's an accessory to my existence. Mm. Real shit, Yo, and, that, and, that, and that's right, bro. and, that, and that's why you gotta be on point because what, what, like I said, you, you need to be able to discern that. Oh, okay, this is this is going this way, or it's ending, or it's down the drain, because she is the one that is not adhering to the program. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because if you're fucking up. You understand what I'm saying? Then that means that it's fucking up because you're fucking up. You understand what I'm saying? Right. Because what happens is, is that when you're on point, she has to reflect that. Do you understand? Right. So if she's not it's- reflecting it, that means she's not on point because you're on point. You exactly. see what I'm saying? Exactly. <laughs> so then that's when you get rid of her. You're like, okay, well, cool. Well, we, we definitely shouldn't get divorced. You understand? And and you and you and you you stand in that you you stand in that understanding of like, oh, okay, well, yeah, this makes sense for us to end this because everything that is built and everything that is within the structure is on point, 
and you're not adhering to it, which means you're not on point, which means we should end this. So what is, what is this thought of, oh, I'm trying to, I'm trying to win her back. I'm trying to get her back. Like, this is why we tell you guys, there should be no reason why you're trying to get back with an ex because you should have been on point so that if it does end, it was supposed to. It was supposed to. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? She was, it was supposed to. Yeah. I can take the dick off the table based upon my standard. You aren't going to get hold of this dick if you ain't being the woman I need you to be. You need to realize that you need to cook clean. You got to understand that you're not the only woman. And if you can accept that, that's fine. That's just the beginning because you got to work hard for me because I work hard for me. So that means if you if, if you get with me, it's not going to be easy street because I need to be satisfied because it ain't no happy wife, happy life bullshit. It's happy Steve, happy Steve. Being strong with self, understanding who you are, um, is the that is the biggest defense to bitch ass weak men. And there's no excuses for the men not to be strong, but see there's so many forces and then so many men are embracing weakness. I can't stand weak men. Like I don't even, I don't like to talk to them. It's hard for me to talk to these losers. I've always been a winner at the winner's table. You know, I believe it's a sin to impregnate a woman who can't raise a child, you know, or impregnate a woman who's not fit to be a mother. And I think we have a responsibility in what we see today in these weak ass little feminine boys. I can't tell another man what to do, but I can't dress feminine. I can't wear nail polish. It's just something that I can't do. Why? Because if I'm walking down the street and somebody's having trouble with a flat tire, I want them to feel that they can come to me and ask me, hey man, could you help me out with this? Because those are the type of things that a man will help out with. So I need to look like a man so they can know where to come for help. Yeah, it is such a thing as toxic masculinity in the minds of bitch ass motherfuckers. Talk about masculinity, assertiveness, authenticity, transparency. How can a guy who's straight up and honest with what he does be toxic? If the media can train you to think something bad about it, you hear the word and you want to instantly have a certain reaction. You stop thinking, you start feeling. And when people learn to think and feel and not think through their feelings, that's when they can evaluate a person holistically. And they can say, is this toxic masculinity or did I just hear something I didn't like? And why did I not like it? And only let me go within myself to see why. I don't never look at no motherfucker and say, oh, that's a toxic masculine motherfucker i never ever had i didn't even know it. that was an invented concept from a weak motherfucker that was like i'm just tired of this motherfucker trying to tell me what to do and bully you over me with this bullshit what's going to make you successful is just understanding who you are and getting your mind right and being happy with who you are that is the thing that's going to really make you successful because after you get all the toys after you get all these things going on you've had sex with all the women you want to have sex with you traveled all the places you're still going to be you and you're going to always come back to you Why do I do this? Why are we even doing this documentary? I'm trying to, I want guys to be in the best position possible. There's no way that I'm raising my voice or calling you a bitch ass nigga because I'm trying to hurt your feelings. I'm calling you a bitch ass nigga because you're doing bitch ass nigga shit. And if you continue doing bitch ass nigga shit, you're going to end up in bitch ass nigga situations. You get what I'm saying? So when I call you a bitch ass nigga, trust me, it's because I love you.